Hey guys, this is uh, pretty much about my 10 month update of my uh, JBJ 28 gallon LED tank. Uh, of course, uh, as usual, I have some additions, um, some movement around of things. Uh, just uh, you can see here my uh, Orchid Dotty back sometimes chases the uh, little guy here and sometimes changes this new guy, which is the two spot hogfish or candy stripe hogfish um, it's actually one of the uh, the uh, smallest of the hogfish family it's more actually related to the wrasse but the very beautiful fish with the yellow and the red striping on it it's pretty uh, and a peaceful fish on top of it so and it's also reef safe compared to other hogfish so I uh, saw him and he was on sale normally go for 60 got him for 30 so you know I had to get him uh, even though my f tank is overstocked, I'm not worried about it because I got plenty of live rock. Um, got the you know protein skimmer, and I also have the uh, refugium with the uh, Kato and li live rock rubble, and uh, you know pH and all of my uh, water parameters are perfect. And as you can see here, my sun polyp is fully extended, uh, doing very well. Uh, it's actually uh, open pretty much all day, every day and night. As you can see here, my uh, blunny here is uh, probably going to chew some of that algae on the uh, glass here. Uh, my blue maxima clamp from Australia is doing uh, very well. And he's actually attached to this rock. I kind of moved it so he actually uh, has a nice little angle to the light with my A-can. Um, my play coral, just uh, it's just doing phenomenal. I'm uh, just uh, very happy with this coral. It's one of my favorite corals. It's just... just uh, hangs in the uh, current so can't complain about that and my dendro of course growing a million zillion heads here uh, in the beginning this uh, orchid dotty back uh, has been given the hogfish a little trouble but as you can see here it's uh, not too aggressive as you normally would see with the uh, dotty backs will pretty much chase to kill and uh, you know he'll do a little chase here and there but uh, not too bad, so I'm giving him more a couple more days. He's, uh, you know, he's fairly friendly or temperament with the other fish in the tank. I uh, just because it was a new addition, uh, maybe he just has to get used to him. But uh, it's not too bad. Uh, he does still chase sprinkles a little bit, but as you can see, he's right there and they're fresh right there and uh, no aggressive dust going around. So um, give it a few days. I mean, if he gets too aggressive, I mean, he is an aggressive species as a pseudochromus. Um, you know, I would have to try to get him out. As you can see here, freckles hanging out a little hole here, moved in the middle of the tank, and just uh, doing uh, very good over there. And I really came to the determination he's a male. And here is my uh, mango, the flame angel. My wife been begging me to get this type of fish. She's seen it and always wanted it. Uh, I got it as a small one. The fish store had tiny ones, and I kind of went the smallest one they had, even though more fragile. Uh, I feel that, you know, with a larger established adult flame angel coming from the wild, it's not going to do as well in the tank as this size. If you get them small, they get used to it. I know my Blenny here, I got him as a baby, and, uh, you know, he's doing fine. It doesn't bother anybody in the tank. Um, I moved my orange digitizer that you see here in the background. It was bleaching through the top a little bit, even though it was growing. Um, I had to move it because in that one spot here I had zoos melted uh, and just, I don't know, it's just the, probably the center of the tank where the highest point is. But I did put a blue acro, don't know the specific name on it, um, but if anything, the acro should uh, do better here than any other coral because they need the strongest light. Uh, right there's my scarlet hermit crab, my uh, pink polyp green montipore, Monty poor Capricornus uh, is actually doing gro uh, doing great here. So you're seeing the growth is getting all over that frag and extending to the main live rock here. So uh, it should have a uh, give it time. It'll pretty much cover it. I moved my green, uh, well, purple tip green frog spawn over here. It's barely touching the uh, uh, torch coral because the torch coral is fully extended right now. But uh, it's actually doing better here. It's actually full extended. My other spot I had it. Um, wasn't fully uh, extended at all times, so I feel maybe it was just uh, too much flow where it was, and they like moderate flow, not too much. As you can see, this is the flow that the torch and the frog spawn generally likes. Uh, I can see here there's the uh, 
fat stomach of my blueberry drawfish. You see the mouth got a little banged up because it's been chewing away at the sand and digging on the rock, but um, it'll heal. It's not a problem. And uh, you can see the color hasn't changed since I first uh, bought blueberry. Uh, so that's why I came to determination she's a female. Um, I could always be wrong, but uh, until I see uh, otherwise, um, I'm sticking to my guns on this one, especially when I have two in the vicinity of the tank and they're not killing each other, <laughs> and which a lot of people are saying two of these small ones will kill each other unless they're in a tank like 100 gallons, and that's not even guaranteeing that they'll be all right with each other. So uh, I rolled the dice, and, uh, you know, in this uh, hobby, you have to because, uh, you know, there's not a lot of information on a lot of these fish here. I mean, there's some with clownfish or something like that, but this specific fish, very little uh, that is uh, written out there. Uh, so, you know, if I'm really lucky, I'll get them to spawn. Let's see here, as you can see, Blueberry uh, made a mound of sand here. I can see here as it thins out. Um, and uh, so you can see here, my uh, cat's eye snail has kicked a bucket, and uh, white reef crab has took over the shell. So, you get a nice little orange shell. Um, yep. Yeah. I don't see my uh, yellow set, so he must be hiding in that rock there, but he moved uh, back in there. I know he was out for a little bit, but I guess he feels more comfortable in his little home there. Uh, I got these little two red reef crabs here. Uh, this guy's lazy. He's always been on here since I got him. I had another one. He's roaming around. I don't know where he is right now, but uh, he's all over the tank, so he's more active. Uh, my blue sponge here is actually attaching itself to this... Uh, green pearl bubble coral uh, it's actually making its way there I had extra the which I have to probably remove some of the sand here I have my other blue sponge that's been growing on this rock here climbing up so I gotta clear that out so it doesn't die off uh, my pom-pom crab here he is hanging out I don't know if I could get good uh, getting a reflection here but um, he actually had one pom-pom for little anemone there it's very dark but you can see it uh, he actually kind of it kind of grew and he split it, so now he has two of them now. So he's just hanging in there trying to catch some food. It seems like good spots. He's been there for a long time, at least a week and a half now. It hasn't really moved from that spot, so it must be a good spot for him. So um, as you can see, everything's fully extended. Uh, my uh, clown goby here just chilling. He likes to sit on his perch on this uh, SBS coral. And I'll, this is generally an overstocked tank, uh, but you know, I have different fish and different uh, types of style of fish. Uh, you know, you got your ground guys, which is your my green mandarin fish, and the uh, two spot goby here, here, and then you got the uh, shrimp gobies. That two of them are in there. The yasha gobies are really just hanging the hole all day, so they don't really take much of a swimming room. Uh, the dotty back and the flame angel and the hogfish are the only ones really like pretty much swimming around the whole tank. Uh, you even though my drawfish will go up and down, up and down, move around, they generally stay in there one spot, so and they don't really get bothered or bother anybody. Uh, you can see here the flame angels uh, having fun going inside or outside of rock, and then you got my um, my uh, blenny that's just a percher. The neon goby he kind of hangs underneath a rock. He doesn't do much, and oh, there's a trip. The uh, my O R A. Mandarin fish hair doing very well. No copy pods at all in this tank, really. I mean, there's some isopods and some amphipods, but not enough to uh, make him survive. He loves cyclopes and Mysha shrimp. I've seen him eat a big piece. It took him a while just to just mount it down, but he's uh, that's his uh, diet there. And uh, my red planet acro here, as you see the full, uh, get a good angle, but the full polyp extension on there. So. All in all, tank's doing very well. I uh, think I'm pretty much not ever going to get an old fish in this tank. and uh, But definitely colorful. Uh, fish are getting along. I'm not worried about it. Until um, I see some aggression or some stress in from the fish, I'll just uh, get the aggressor out. Um, and he's probably the main culprit, if anything, because the, the nature of that species. But... He's been behaving. I mean, I got here. He's an ORA tank raised orchid dotty back, which the orchid's supposed to be the, the least aggressive of all uh, dotty backs. 
but you can see here uh, he doesn't give the hot fish too much trouble so I think that's just uh, welcome to the fish tank <laughs> so I'll keep you guys updated and uh, you know post your comments or uh, if you have any questions of my experience uh, as you can see here my uh, tank's been thriving since day one and just been getting better and better even though with the amount of fish and coral I have in this tank and there's uh, freckles digging his hole right next to my uh, right underneath it's my uh, Halloween hermit crab you can't see his legs but that's his shell right there okay so guys keep you updated and uh, I'll let you know how my SPS coral uh, ends up a little bleaching but hopefully it will cover as you can see it's not the uh, the best of health that one particular uh, digitata but my other SPS are doing fine so it's just placement in this tank